Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Last Humans Tech. Today I want to talk to you about the Debian package managers and different styles. Now this could apply to the Debian Linux as well as the Ubuntu Linux. So you have dpkg, D would be your low-end package manager similar to the RPM on the Fedora type flavors. Then you would have the apt-get package manager which is more similar to the yum over on the Red Hat side. And finally, you do have an aptitude package manager, which is menu based for this Debian flavor of Linux. So we're going to have a quick look at all three here. And let's get started with the D package. So remember, like every command, you do have your dash dash help that we talked about in previous videos. And I can pipe it to less so I don't get too much screen at one time. And you can look at all the D package options. This is a low level package manager. So I'll quit out of that. And let's do a D package list. Now, this is going to show you all the packages on the machine. And again, you can see for as far as a package name, and package format. You have the package name as the first column, then the version, and then the architecture. And you should know that all the packages on the Debian Ubuntu end with the DEB extension, D-E-B. That is equivalent to the RPM extension over on the Red Hat side. So just remember DEB is the extension for the packages on this flavor of Linux. Now it is more common to use the apt-get commands here. So let's go ahead and move on from this dpackage onto the next step. Let's go ahead and try and launch the aptitude menu-driven package manager. Now you'll notice it says it's not installed and it's actually sending us to apt-get even though we have not even discussed it yet. Let's see if this works and to install the aptitude, yes, I want to continue. And you can see it only takes less than one minute. And it should be installed now. Let's clear the screen. And let's see if we can launch it. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to use this too much. But you can see it is menu driven. It's a little bit kludgy and clumsy. It isn't common. As you see, it didn't even come on the default installation of this particular Ubuntu. And it has different categories, packages that don't exist, and all menu driven. And you can hit enter to go ahead and look deeper into any section. So this is just a quick look at the aptitude menu driven package manager, which is really not too common and not too many people use it. So let's go ahead and look at the apt get now. And again, you can use the dash dash help to look at some of your options here. We're going to pipe this to less so we can look at one screen at a time. And this is a very powerful tool. It is more automated than your D package and is much easier to use also. I can use spacebar here, which scrolls down to the bottom, and you can look at all the various options. Now you have the smaller one letter options as well as the full word options much like the RPM package manager. So let's look at the apt-get update command. Now this is different than the upgrade. Don't get these confused. The update is going to look for all newer packages but it is not going to install them. It's just creating a database kind of so so it knows they're there but this is not going to perform any installations. So it's going out and searching for all the new packages that could be available, but it is not altering your machine at this time. Now, if you do the apt-get upgrade, keep in mind you should do the update first to make sure that it has all the latest information. Now the upgrade is going to install and upgrade your packages. So you always do the update first. I'm going to click yes to continue here and then do the upgrade and it'll make sure everything is fresh and up to date on your particular Ubuntu or other flavored machine or the Debian machine also. 
This one could take a little bit longer, but we're going to leave it only about a minute, really. This machine is fairly up to date. I'll come back in just a minute. Guys, this is still running 10 minutes later, so it did take quite a bit longer than I expected. All right, guys, one of the next most important commands you'll need is your apt-get install. And that's just how you install a particular package. Now you can use the abbreviation on these with this particular package manager. You don't need to use the entire file name. And this package is probably already installed, but we'll just see what it says. It's going to go ahead and install it here. Unpacking it. And it is finished installing. That just took about 10 seconds. Now let me show you another option is the remove option. Now these are the full word options, not just the letters. So apt get remove nmap. We're just going to go backwards now and take it off just for an example. So that is complete. Now if you want to make sure it's completely gone, you would use the purge option. And this will remove the package as well as all the config files. Now it may say that this is already uninstalled per above. Let's see what it says. It is also doing that and that shows you you have your install command, your remove command, and your purge command when you really want to remove all traces of that package. Now something else you might want to do is download a package but not install it. So in that case you would use the download keyword here, the download option. So remember now you have install, you have remove, you have purge, and you have download. So this is going to download but not install. Sometimes you want to prepare a package for install, maybe in a change control window, so you don't want to install it right at this moment. So the download command can be very convenient in that respect. Another common command you would like to use for the apt get is check. And so now you have install, remove, purge, download, and check. And the check is going to look for any dependency problems with the packages on the system. And it did successfully complete, so it does not show any dependency problems. Finally, one last command that is good to know here is your clean command. So we keep, re we keep reinstating these commands again and again. You have install, remove, purge, download, check, and finally you have clean. And this cleans up your downloaded files to gain some of your disk space back. And you can see there was nothing there for it to really clean. So to finish up, I do want to install the nmap package just to leave my system complete like it was before. So that showed you many different options that you can use for the apt-get command. And the apt-get is the most common package manager to use for your Debian and Ubuntu Linux configurations. I hope you enjoyed this section from Last Humans Tech, and I do hope you come back for more Linux videos in the future. Thanks for watching.